Ford F-150 Lightning Reliability. Folks, you're gonna be surprised, but Ford F-150 Lightnings, you might think electric vehicles, the batteries, they catch fire. You might think that they'll, they'll never make that eight year warranty. You know, all manufacturers are offering an eight year, 160,000 kilometers or 100,000 mile warranty. It's one or the other, whether eight years comes first or the 100,000 miles or 160,000 kilometers. That's the warranty you get when you jump into the whole world of getting an electric vehicle. Some think the batteries will never last that long. In some cases in the past, they have not. You know, there's the famous Tesla that's made it to 1 million miles or just a little over 1 million miles. And what was it? 12 and electric motors and four different batteries. Well, here's a happy story for y'all folks. 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning owner drove almost 100,000 miles and his battery health is at 97%. This is from Inside EVs, if you wanna check out Inside EVs and read up on this story. So that's a lot of miles. Yeah, I like the tight little subtitle they put here. That's a lot of miles for a 21 month old electric pickup truck. So too bad for this guy because his depreciation, if he's looking to resell this, his resale value is going to be really, really rough. And he's probably he's kind of in like a do or die situation. It's either sell it now or keep it for a very, very long pe period. You know, ride it until the wheels come off, put the pedal to the metal until those wheels come off. But here are his tricks. First of all, he didn't put it to the, the pedal to the metal that often. He mentioned that he drove very reasonably. So thank you, Eric Loveday, for covering this story. He drove reasonably and he charged the battery up. He didn't, you know, do those everyday top-offs, bringing it back up to 100%. He charged between almost never, other than once or twice, he almost never let the battery go beneath 15% and he rarely ever charged above 90%. Now those settings you can actually pick out with either your smartphone, if you have Ford Pass, you can play around with your charge settings or right on the touchscreen, whether you have the 12 inch horizontal touchscreen or the vertical 15.5 inch touchscreen found in the Lariat and Platinums. You can adjust that in your settings if you're thinking about long-terming this truck. And it looks like eight years is gonna easily go by because he's at 100,000 miles, meaning his warranty's over, but he's only lost 3% of the battery's capacities. So that's fantastic news. It looks like, on paper at least, it would look like this thing could last for hundreds of thousands of miles. So, We'll keep you updated on stories like this, but right now, Ford battery technology, reliability, dependability is not stressing me out that much. Highlander, thank you so much. I am sick, uh, but I'm out of a fever now. I had a fever for five or six days, and I really appreciate you all sticking through me, sticking through with me, not through me, but with me as I try to get this important information out. I missed you all. I wanted to get to catch up with you all and I wanted to bring you some of this information, especially this article, because I know there's been so much fear about electric vehicles catching fire, batteries not lasting long and, you know, having to, you know, destroying people's budget because if, good thing he didn't find out that the battery at just over 100,000 miles only had 50% of life left because then he could say, wow, I'm going to have trouble, real, real trouble making it to 200,000 miles. And that's not the case with this story. So you have to really consider this when you're buying who you're buying your electric vehicle from, because a manufacturer can push the stats on a vehicle and it'll last less long. And right now the lithium ion batteries, a replacement for this truck for let's say an extended range battery would be around the whole job together would be close to $40,000 to change the full battery system on an extended range lightning. But thankfully, it looks like you'll never have to change the battery. I think it's going to be like TVs. They're either going to break early on while they're under a warranty or last, you know, a very reasonable amount of time. And only 3% loss for 100,000 miles is absolutely fantastic. But do remember, 
some of this individual's tricks. He's not beating the snot out of the vehicle. He's not charging up to 100% all the time. And he uses fast chargers. He avoids them as often as possible. So those are your tricks for getting more life out of what is absolutely a beautiful truck, incredibly comfortable, incredible sound system. My F-150 Lightning has been a real luxury truck. It's been a real luxury and a huge comfort to our lives. The only thing that bothers me with it is the payment and I bought more truck than I can afford and that's my problem. Had I been wise, I would have gotten an XLT. Ford has dropped to make these move uh, this month. There's two promotions going down at different times, uh, different parts of the month. But there, we've seen you know, now $8,000 off for my region for these trucks. And we've also seen very, very, very low interest, close to 0%. So it's they started moving again. And I think that more people should consider them because, hey, it costs Ford more money to produce these than what they're selling the trucks to you for. It's a steal of a deal. It is an excellent vehicle. And if you go out and test drive one, I can basically promise you, you're not going to be you're you're not going to be dis, you're not going to be disappointed. It's definitely worth test driving. It's an incredible, incredible ride, not just because of the crazy, insane acceleration, but it's so comfortable. Remember, the rear suspension is independent. It's a fantastic truck, and I love my Lightning. I well, I really like my Lightning. I just really don't like my payment on my Lightning. It, it hurts me to know that I could have had a second Bronco and save $600 per month and have a really high, high, you know, another base, basically another wild track in the yard, save $600 a month, but of that $600 have to put $300 per month per gas, but still overall save $300 per month and have a wild track Bronco. So my absolute love for Ford Broncos is what's making my lightning ownership difficult. And do catch, I did a video recently on what some people call the only real Bronco, which is a two-door manual Bronco. I did a wonderful uh, test, a review on it. I uh, took it through the corners pretty hard. I uh, gave it a nice little acceleration, and I am so surprised. The 2.3 liter engine sounds incredible. The manual was a total blast to drive. I love the 2.3 liter, 2 liter uh, Bronco. And it was a Big Ben Sasquatch. So the 2.3 liter was more than enough power to turn those big 35 inch tires. So much fun. So please check out the video that I put out on that. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for being part of the show. Uh, thank you so much for giving, uh, helping us out and providing information and chatting with the group here. So Mark, thank you so much for being here. Thank you everyone for being here. We've gone over an hour for the live. Really appreciate all your time. Now, I want to wish everyone a fantastic Palm Sunday. And my, you know, my thoughts are with you all. And I wish you the absolute best as we go into Easter. Now let's get to a bit of free information. We've got... We've got a nice little episode here, the last one of the night, and it's a nice quick one. It's to help save you hundreds of dollars. So let's just check this out right here. Let's get to my phone.